Good day, everyone. Here we go again. Out topic for today is how to eat a healthy diet. Eating a healthy diet is one of the best things you can do for your overall health and well-being. A healthy diet can help you maintain a healthy weight, reduce your risk of chronic diseases, and improve your mood and energy levels. Here are some tips for eating a healthy diet. Eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are an essential part of a healthy diet. They are packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that are essential for good health. Eating plenty of fruits and vegetables can help you too. Maintain a healthy weight. Reduce your risk of chronic diseases, such as heart disease, stroke, cancer, and type 2 diabetes. Improve your mood and energy levels. Boost your immune system. Promote healthy skin and hair support gut health. Here are some of the specific health benefits of eating fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are low in calories and high in fiber. This makes them a good choice for people who are trying to lose weight or maintain a healthy weight. Fiber helps you to feel full and satisfied after eating, which can help you to eat less overall. Fruits and vegetables are a good source of vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals are essential for many bodily functions, including cell growth and repair, immune function, and energy metabolism. Some of the vitamins and minerals that are found in fruits and vegetables include vitamin C, vitamin A, potassium, and folate. Fruits and vegetables are a good source of antioxidants. Antioxidants help to protect your cells from damage caused by free radicals. Free radicals are unstable molecules that can damage cells and contribute to the development of chronic diseases. Some of the antioxidants that are found in fruits and vegetables include vitamin C, vitamin E, and beta-carotene. Eating a variety of fruits and vegetables is the best way to get the most health benefits. Aim to eat at least five servings of fruits and vegetables per day. You can eat fruits and vegetables fresh, frozen, canned, or dried. Just be sure to choose fruits and vegetables that are low in added sugar and salt. Next on our list is choose whole grains over refined grains. Whole grains are better for your health than refined grains because they contain more fiber, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Whole grains are the entire kernel of the grain, including the bran, germ, and endosperm. Refined grains have been stripped of the bran and germ, which is where most of the nutrients are found. Eating whole grains instead of refined grains can help you to maintain a healthy weight, reduce your risk of chronic diseases, such as heart disease, stroke, cancer, and type 2 diabetes. Improve your mood and energy levels. Promote digestive health. Boost your immune system. Some of the specific health benefits of eating whole grains include Whole grains are a good source of fiber. Fiber helps to keep you feeling full and satisfied after eating, which can help you to eat less overall. Fiber also helps to lower cholesterol levels and improve blood sugar control. Whole grains are a good source of vitamins and minerals. Whole grains contain a variety of vitamins and minerals, including vitamin B, magnesium, iron, and zinc. These nutrients are essential for many bodily functions, including cell growth and repair, immune function, and energy metabolism. Whole grains are a good source of antioxidants. Antioxidants help to protect your cells from damage caused by free radicals. Free radicals are unstable molecules that can damage cells and contribute to the development of chronic diseases. Some of the antioxidants that are found in whole grains include vitamin E, selenium, and phytic acid. To choose whole grains over refined grains, look for foods that list whole grains as the first ingredient. Some examples of whole grains include brown rice, quinoa, oats, whole wheat bread, and whole wheat pasta. Next is lean protein is a good choice for your diet. Lean protein is a good choice for your diet because it is low in saturated fat and calories, and it is a good source of essential amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein, and they are essential for muscle growth and repair. Eating lean protein can help you to maintain a healthy weight, build and maintain muscle mass, reduce your risk of chronic diseases, such as heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes, improve your mood and energy levels, Support a healthy immune system. Some of the specific health benefits of eating lean protein include Lean protein helps to build and maintain muscle mass. Muscle mass is important for a number of reasons including strength, metabolism, and balance. Lean protein can help to increase muscle mass and strength, and it can also help to prevent muscle loss as you age. Lean protein helps to maintain a healthy weight. Lean protein is low in saturated fat and calories, and it is high in protein. Protein can help you to feel full and satisfied after eating, which can help you to eat less overall. 
Lean protein can also help to boost your metabolism, which can help you to burn more calories. Lean protein reduces your risk of chronic diseases. Eating lean protein instead of red meat and processed meats can help to reduce your risk of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. Red meat and processed meats are high in saturated fat and cholesterol, which can increase your risk of these chronic diseases. Lean protein improves your mood and energy levels. Protein is an essential nutrient for the production of neurotransmitters, which are chemicals that regulate mood and energy levels. Eating lean protein can help to improve your mood and energy levels, and it can also help to reduce stress levels. Lean protein supports a healthy immune system. Protein is an essential nutrient for the production of white blood cells, which are responsible for fighting infection. Eating lean protein can help to support a healthy immune system and reduce your risk of getting sick. Some examples of lean protein sources include chicken fish beans tofu, tempeh, lentils, eggs, low-fat dairy products. To choose lean protein sources, look for foods that are low in saturated fat and calories and that are high in protein. You can also choose lean protein sources that are plant-based, such as beans, tofu, tempeh, and lentils. Next on our list is limiting processed foods. It is important to limit processed foods in your diet because they are often high in unhealthy fats, sugar and salt, and low in nutrients. Processed foods can also contain additives and preservatives that can be harmful to your health. Eating too many processed foods can lead to a number of health problems, including weight gain obesity, heart disease, stroke type 2, diabetes, cancer digestive problems. Here are some of the specific benefits of limiting processed foods in your diet. Improved weight management. Processed foods are often high in calories and low in nutrients, which can lead to weight gain. Limiting processed foods in your diet can help you to lose weight or maintain a healthy weight. Reduced risk of chronic diseases. Processed foods are often high in unhealthy fats, sugar, and salt, which can increase your risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and cancer. Limiting processed foods in your diet can help to reduce your risk of developing these chronic diseases. Improved digestive health. Processed foods are often low in fiber, which can lead to digestive problems such as constipation and irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. Limiting processed foods in your diet and increasing your intake of fiber can help to improve your digestive health. Increased energy levels. Processed foods can often leave you feeling sluggish and tired. Limiting processed foods in your diet and eating more whole, unprocessed foods can help to increase your energy levels. Improved mood. Processed foods can often lead to mood swings and irritability. Limiting processed foods in your diet and eating more healthy foods can help to improve your mood and overall well-being. To limit processed foods in your diet, cook at home more often and choose whole, unprocessed foods whenever possible. Here are some tips. Read food labels carefully and avoid foods that contain high levels of unhealthy fats, sugar, and salt. Avoid foods that contain artificial ingredients and preservatives. Choose fresh, frozen, or canned fruits and vegetables over processed snacks and drinks. Cook at home more often and use fresh whole ingredients. Make healthy substitutions for processed foods. For example, instead of eating chips, snack on nuts or seeds. Instead of drinking sugary soda, drink water or unsweetened tea. Limiting processed foods in your diet is one of the best things you can do for your overall health and well-being. Last on our list is drink plenty of water. Drinking plenty of water is essential for good health. Water makes up about 60% of our body weight and is involved in many important bodily functions including regulating body temperature, transporting nutrients and oxygen to cells, removing waste products from the body, lubricating joints, protecting organs and tissues, when we are dehydrated, our bodies cannot function properly. This can lead to a number of health problems, including fatigue headaches, constipation kidney stones, heat stroke. Drinking plenty of water can help to prevent these health problems and improve your overall health and well-being. Here are some of the specific benefits of drinking plenty of water. Improved mood and energy levels. Dehydration can lead to fatigue and headaches. Drinking plenty of water can help to improve your mood and energy levels. Reduced risk of kidney stones. Kidney stones are formed when minerals and salts in the urine crystallize. Drinking plenty of water can help to flush out these minerals and salts and reduce your risk of kidney stones. Improve skin health. Water helps to keep the skin hydrated and looking its best. Weight loss. 
Drinking water can help you to feel full and satisfied, which can help you to eat less overall. Water can also help to boost your metabolism, which can help you to burn more calories. Improved athletic performance. Water helps to transport nutrients and oxygen to muscles and remove waste products. Drinking plenty of water can help to improve athletic performance and reduce the risk of muscle cramps. How much water you need to drink each day depends on a number of factors, including your activity level, climate, and overall health. However, a good general rule of thumb is to drink eight eight ounce glasses of water per day. Here are some tips for staying hydrated. Keep a water bottle with you at all times and refill it often. Drink water before, during, and after exercise. Eat fruits and vegetables, which are high in water content. Avoid sugary drinks, such as soda and juice, which can dehydrate you. If you live in a hot climate, drink more water than usual. Drinking plenty of water is one of the best things you can do for your overall health and well-being. By following the tips above, you can make sure that you're getting enough fluids each day and improve your chances of living a long and healthy life. Here are some additional tips for eating a healthy diet. Make sure your meals and snacks are balanced. A balanced meal or snack includes a variety of foods from different food groups. This will help you to get the nutrients you need. Eat slowly and mindfully. It takes time for your brain to register that you are full. Eating slowly and mindfully can help you to avoid overeating. Don't skip meals. Skipping meals can lead to overeating later in the day. It is also important to eat breakfast every day. Find healthy ways to cope with stress. Stress can lead to unhealthy eating habits. Find healthy ways to cope with stress, such as exercise, yoga, or meditation. Eating a healthy diet doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. There are many delicious and nutritious foods that are affordable and easy to find. By following the tips above, you can start to eat a healthier diet and improve your overall health. Here is a sample meal plan for a healthy diet. Breakfast. Oatmeal with berries and nuts. Yogurt with fruit and granola. Whole wheat toast with avocado and eggs. Lunch. Salad with grilled chicken or fish. Soup and sandwich on whole wheat bread. Leftovers from dinner. Dinner. Grilled salmon with roasted vegetables. Chicken stir-fry with brown rice. Lentil soup with whole wheat bread. Snacks. Fruits and vegetables. Nuts and seeds. Yogurt. This is just a sample meal plan, and you can adjust it to fit your own preferences and dietary needs. The most important thing is to eat a variety of healthy foods from all food groups. That's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Have a good health, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.